Welcome back. This is Andy Brown again. I am the Director of Education Training and Head Instructor at the Climber School of Real Estate in Orlando, Florida. I'm recording another real estate math video tutorial for you to help you pass the state exam. This one is number 94 on the new free practice exam that I put on our website, climberrealestateschool.com. This one is kind of like a developer subdividing problem and helps you get used to using your lots with the number of square feet in an acre. So let's read the problem. 94. A developer bought 18 acres of land. He intends to create a 40 lot subdivision. He knows 10% of the land will be used for parks and common areas. The streets require 20 feet by 2,000 feet. If the lots are all equal size, how big will lot each lot be? Well, first of all, the answer is D. 16,642 square feet. Let's talk about this for a second. We have a big piece of land. We're going we're to take out a certain amount for the parks. We're going to take out a certain amount for the street. And then we're going to divide through by the number of lots. It's really just multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. You know, I tell this to my students all the time. It's not so much the math as it is seeing how these numbers and concepts work together. So let me show you how I did it. We know that there's 18 acres, and you have to remember every acre has 43,560 square feet. There's two ways you can remember this. The way I was taught in the 80s, 7, 11 with a 0, 4 plus 3 is 7, 5 plus 6 is 11, and then just remember to put a 0 on it. I have another instructor that teaches her students four little old ladies going 35 in a 60 mile per hour zone and people seem to really like that. I don't care which way you use or even another one, but I will tell you, you got to know that there's 43,560 square feet in an acre. You just got to know that. Well, if you multiply these two, 18 times 43,560, you get 784,080 square feet. That's your starting point. Now we got to take out the 10%. How do I know that there's 10% taken out? Because the problem tells us. There's two ways you can do it. Here's the first way. Multiply the total amount of eight, uh, square feet, 784,080, times 10%. That gives you 78,408. Then you can subtract. 784,080 minus 78,408 gives you 705,672 square feet. Or, if you're seeing it a different way, if there's 10% taken out, that leaves 90%. So you can multiply 784,080 square feet times 90% or 0.9, which gives you 705,672 square feet, the exact same number. Here's what we're working with now. Second, we've got to take out the amount for the streets. How do we know how much goes for the streets? Because the problem tells you, and even on the state exam it will tell you, the streets are 20 feet by 2,000 feet. If you multiply those together, that gives you 40,000 square feet. Go back to the number we're starting with, after we took out the 10% for parks. 705,672, sorry about that, square feet, minus the 40,000 square feet for the streets, leaves you with 665,672 square feet. That's how much the developer can use for the lots. We know from the problem, the developer wants 40 equal lots. Take your usable developable land, in this case it's 665,672 square feet, divided by the 40 lots and you get 16,642 square feet per lot. That's how you do it. They're pretty much all the same. Good luck on your state exam. That's the most important thing and like always, anything I can do to help you, call the school or email me and hope to see you very soon.